Hi everybody! If you've been a follower of this channel for years or a while, you know that I usually speak in Norwegian because I am Norwegian. Uh, I decided to do something new and try out to reach more people and people from other countries. So what I'm going to talk about today is life quality. These tips are things that work for me and that has worked for me for a lot of months now. Before I start, remember to subscribe to this channel. I would be so so happy if you... This is the first video you see because you don't understand Norwegian. <laughs> so you have of course not seen my videos before, but please subscribe. the two first things um, go hand in hand so the first thing is getting up earlier in the morning this I started with in February and we're now in May and it's I think it's the the single thing that has changed my happiness and the way I think positively of my life, uh, getting up earlier than usual. I've been a student this entire year, I'm finished now in June, but since last August I've been a student so I can, I can pretty much do whatever I want. I do have a job, but often I only work um, afternoons and nights so I don't have to be somewhere at 8 o'clock or I don't have kids so they don't work, uh, wake me up and I decide when I want to get up. My body before did not want to get up early, my body wanted to sleep till 10 and that is way too late. I slept till 10 for many, I want to say many years, but many months. And then I saw a lot of YouTube videos about waking up early. And yeah, like I said, it's the single thing that has changed the most for me, both in getting more productive, getting things done, and my happiness, um, anxiety, eating, working out, everything. Six, I have found out is perfect. Like I said, the things here do cross each other a little bit, so waking up early, but also having the habit of working out five to six times every week. And that is amazing and that has been my goal for years. It's weird those days that I don't work out, so <laughs> that is. Uh, the next thing that I said would go into the waking up early is going earlier to bed. This has changed my happiness and levels of anxiety so much because i if i get too many hours at night where i can just lay in bed or on the couch watching some series or just scrolling online it it, it does something to me so i will much 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 more likely um feel bad uh, either if that's sadness or just regular anxiety but now that I have switched that a little bit I don't have hours where I watch TV at night I just I eat or and I can maybe chill for half an hour maximum an hour and then I start to get ready for bed and then I don't scroll that much that I used to because I'm thinking like, oh, I have to go to bed because I'm waking up really early tomorrow. I'm also getting in the habit that of reading right before I sleep. So a lot, a lot of things. It's like a domino effect when I start getting to bed earlier and then waking up earlier. So the next thing is living more low waste. Um, I know that the zero waste wave has turned over and is now called low waste because zero waste is well <laughs> if you want you can google it or search youtube yourself but low waste meaning less waste <laughs> and trying as much as you can to avoid plastic to avoid um one time single use products like plastic cutlery cups straws everything toothbrushes that kind of stuff so i have purchased some things 
for trying this low waist life it's a journey of course as is everything else that you when you want to change your life it's not just a thing that goes over a week you know I have plastic bags still but I'm not gonna throw them away I'm gonna use them till I have to throw them and then I'm gonna recycle the plastic because we here in Norway are really good at that <laughs> or not everybody's good at it but we have the option to recycle plastic so I still have a few plastic stuff but I'm using it I bought I think it's cotton wait a minute organic textile yeah cotton cotton biologic I think it's French these linen cotton bags you can easily make this yourself but I know I'm not gonna make it so I <laughs> I just bought some and gave a good company my money and because it would take months before I made something like this so a simple bag to have produce in so fruit, wet, vegetables, everything that if you have bags that you have not used as a gym bag <laughs> um, try it out, take, take it with you and this I've also mentioned on my blog but when you go shopping, take with you a bag or a whatever, so you don't have to take the, the shopping bags. I also bought this guy. This is for... What's it called? I just Google translate this because I don't think I know the English word. It comes out as dish brush. That sounds weird, but it is a dish brush. <laughs> You use it when you do the dishes. So it's nature fiber, the, the hairs on here, and it's of, of uh, wood. Uh, you can replace the head when this is used. I have not used this. For a very small amount of money, you can just replace the head when it's really good used. So And it has a hanger as well. And this is metal, so it's nothing plastic in here. And I also bought, it's, it's, it's made of beeswax and paper, so I'm gonna call it beeswax paper. <laughs> and it's, it's just, instead of putting your food, if you open a can or if you have a, apples or if you have something that is open in your fridge, you can, instead of use plastic to wrap it around or aluminium foil or whatever you use, you use this beeswax and this you can use no this you can make yourself as well and like I said that's not gonna happen so I bought it I only bought one and I am definitely gonna buy more these things I bought but a lot of habits uh, is the is is the main thing of the low waste journey so I've really 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 enjoyed it and I hope as many as possible and um, jump on this bandwagon of lower waste <laughs> you don't have to be like zero waste or anything and keep all your waste in a jar but lower waste is always better than just living the life that we do now uh, the next thing is a little bit with the low waste but and that is living a more minimalist life. I don't know when this started but I suddenly got this, I think I saw a documentary or something about clothing, about um, I don't remember but I got to a point where I was like why do I have so much stuff? So it started with all of these superficial stuff like clothing and makeup and stuff but I've gotten it over to more of a into my lifestyle and into my mental game so living minimalist minimal like a minimalist minimalism that relates to your social life how you think everything about your life so it doesn't mean that you have to have little stuff it just means that th the stuff you have do have a meaning for you and it, it matters so if you look at your everything in your living room or in your closet or whatever you could not be without that thing and that yeah <laughs> you don't need five of 
everything. This has really made my life better. I feel so much happier and it's almost like a stress relief because I don't have... I try to only think about one thing at a time and when you think of it that is minimalism because you only think about one thing at a time and you don't stress, I, I at least don't stress that much and if I have a cleaner and more organized room I feel it's a, it's a yeah it's a stress relief so it's really good so all my friends on snapchat has it's almost every week where I have a picture like who wants this I'm getting rid of this who wants it <laughs> and it has lasted for I'm I'm guessing a year now so that says a lot about how much shit I get rid of the next is to stop comparing myself with other people. I have done this my entire life, trying to not do it the last couple years, but it's been hard, but I don't know, something has happened and I can mostly stop comparing myself with other people. I think about what I want, what is my standard. This goes both ways, so both if people are doing better than me or if people don't have very high, don't have any goals or don't have any high hopes or anything like that. It goes both ways because sometimes I'm like, I cannot, this this doesn't reach me, I, I can't reach it and it's, it's just not in my sphere. <laughs> but this as well, I've gotten better at, I, I have to give myself permission to work, work out, eat the way I want, away from the people that want to have me down there with them, with less goals and all of the things that I said. Of course I take inspiration and get motivated a lot by the people around me, but at the end of the day, it's, it's me. And this one goes along with the next one that is being more selfish. This I have not, I I don't feel like I have done this a hundred percent, but I've been, I've become a lot, a lot, a lot better at it. When I say selfish, I don't mean being mean to people or anything like that. I mean doing things for myself. This is different for everyone. Either if it's spending all of your time helping other people or only working on yourself or only... You have to do what you want to do. So this includes when people ask something of you, you have to ask yourself, is this something that brings more happiness and does it reach me as a, as a, as a, as a thing that gives my life meaning if that makes sense if this is a no you have to think more do i really really have to do this and most of the time it's not a crisis and most of the time you can say no and if the people that is asking asks why you can either choose to explain or you can choose to don't say anything like i said i don't feel that i have this under control because is it, it it really, really is a work in progress and I think I always gonna have to work with this. Good girl always wants to please people and always wants to say yes when people ask and I've always been that way but the last maybe year, six months to a year, I've gotten much better to say no and to use my time the way that I want it. Um, and also I have a tendency of getting really defensive this does not go along with the, with the, if people ask why, you don't have to explain. So I, if people ask why, I'm so quick to say, well, mm, mm. and they are not in my mindset. So they're like, what? Like you, you just seem rude and I don't want to be rude. You do you. <laughs> the last thing is also a mental thing and it's a behavioral thing and that is to be less 
judgmental. If I think of myself as a 23 year old or 22, 20, whatever, I am now 26, I, I don't think I would have liked me very much and it's, it's not a person that I strive to be at all. I've come a long way with the judgmental thing. My brain do want to jump to conclusions or put people in boxes, but I think that is the human way for a lot, a lot of people. But I try to have an open mind. I, I've come a long way, yes, but it's just, it's just in my head and I have to work with it all the time. It's a really, really negative thing about my personality, but I think also people are too judgmental. judgmental. I think people are way too judgmental. As a, as a whole, and especially here in Norway, we're not very open. If people are doing new things or things that are not regular, you get judged down and under and if you're not strong, you you will not continue the thing that you get judged by. We can take this as an introduction to this new thing of me being international and not just for the Norwegians or people that understands Norwegian. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, thumb it up and leave a comment if you are from another country i would love to know where where people are from and i almost couldn't ask that before because i know everyone almost everyone is from norway and like i said remember to subscribe i will make more videos now that includes probably all of the things that i've talked about but more so i will see you in the next video and i hope you have a good day mm -hmm.